Good morning, folks. We've got several space weather things we're watching at the moment. There will be some seismic coverage, some eye candy from space, more cosmology shenanigans, and a reminder of the compound disasters that unfold during the Earth catastrophe cycle. The last 24 hours on our star continued the solar flare production. Luckily, they continue to be impulsive flares, with little to no CME ejecta from them. We have the coronal holes and coming from the left there, the big dark patches, and the coronal holes are flanked by plasma filaments instead of sunspots. Big one ahead of the southern opening here. There's also one incoming behind the coronal hole. Hopefully that big one remains stable today. Up north, there is a moderate-sized filament coming into the south of the coronal hole, so even without sunspots, we'll continue to be on watch through the weekend. We are also in an earthquake watch due to those coronal holes. We've seen a good bit of pressure release the last few days. Hopefully we don't get anything bigger. However, the factors are there and in play. Speaking of which, top quake of the last day was a 6.3 in Vanuatu. This part of the world luckily handled those better than most. But I'm also taking note of a swarm occurring in the Gulf of California, which is actually in Mexico, and I'm hoping those are not foreshocks. We've got eyes open. Shifting to our eye candy, this is N79, a cluster in the Large Magellanic Cloud that was scoped here roaring to life with baby stars by the James Webb Space Telescope. Its infrared looks helped reveal the dusty details. Do you guys remember a few days ago when we shared this article asking if the universe was younger than astronomers believed, and we said they don't really have a clue and they're all over the place? Enter this, a team suggesting they have several lines of evidence that the universe is much older, taking it from around 14 billion years to nearly 27 billion years old. I repeat, they are all over the place. Last but not least, nothing technically new here but an excellent reminder and a very thorough analysis. During the Mono Lake event about 36,000 years ago, we not only had the geomagnetic excursion, but a major Heinrich event in ice rafting, and as is confirmed here, major volcanic upticks at the time, a super eruption. That's the danger of these cycle events, weak magnetic field, extra radiation, major climate shifts, and volcanoes. Next several years are going to be fun. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.